Congratulations on purchasing our underfloor heating system, purpose designed for easy installation and cost efficiency. We hope it will give you many years of pleasure and comfort. This short film will give you all the basic information you need to successfully install your new system and covers the installation for wooden flooring. For any other type of flooring, please consult our comprehensive installation manual. Before commencing installation, you should plan the placement of mats, floor sensors and electrical connections. The heating mat should cover about 80% of the room's floor area. Switch off the electricity mains. Ensure that the floor base is clean and clear of all debris. Depending on the type of flooring, place insulation material, in this case soft insulation for wooden floors, over the floor base. Consult our manual for the appropriate material for other floor types. Roll out the heating mats on top of the insulation material with the heating ribbon facing down and the fiberglass netting facing up. Placing the mats so that the cold leads are closest to the connection box, leave a 4-inch, 10cm gap between the wall and the heating mats. Leave a further 2 inches, 5cm gap between each mat. Using the double-sided adhesive tape on each mat, stretch the mats and secure them to the floor. Make sure each mat is completely flat. Place the cold leads between the mats, ensuring they do not cross over them. If possible, avoid standing on the mats. Create a slight groove in the insulation material to accommodate the slightly thicker lead connector and to help the mat lie flat. Mark each pair of leads with an identically numbered sticker. The sticker should be near the end of the lead so it can be easily seen. We now move on to the electrical installation, which must be performed by a fully qualified and registered electrician. Install the connection box and the thermostat box according to local safety and building codes. The best position for the control thermostat box is 5 feet 1.5 meters above floor level and as far as possible from fireplaces, direct sunlight, windows, doors, or anything that could affect accurate temperature readings. Install electrical conduits to both the connection box and thermostat box. Install the floor temperature safety sensor between two heating mats at least 20 inches 50 centimeters from the wall. If installing in wet areas, place a grounding mat on top of the heating mat. Refer to our installation manual for more detailed instructions. Using the conduits, bring the cold leads from the mats to the connection box and the floor temperature safety sensor leads to the thermostat box. Making sure you can see the numbered stickers you attached earlier, expose the conductor in each lead. Conduct measurements of the resistance of each heating mat separately. Verify that the values you obtain are in line with the resistance value printed on the specific mat sticker. Conduct measurements of the insulation for all heating mats at the same time. Make sure there is no insulation problem. In the connection box, connect all the cold leads of the same color from the heating mats. Then connect the same color cold lead from the thermostat to the connection box. Insert each group of same colored leads to one connector. In the thermostat box, connect the wires to the control thermostat according to the wiring diagram in the installation manual and install the thermostat. To test the system, switch it on for about half an hour to check that all the mats are heating properly. After the test, switch off the system and leave the mats to cool and then simply lay your floor covering in the normal way, according to manufacturer's instructions. If during installation you wish to ensure that there are no breaks in the circuit or any incorrect connections, use the AHT Screamer Connection Monitor. Disconnect the mats from the electricity supply and then connect the screamer according to the instructions on the device. In the event that wires come loose from terminals or damage occurs to the heating mats, an alarm will sound and a red light will be activated. To simulate a damage condition before beginning work, press the test button. Place a caution label on the connection box to indicate that an underfloor heating system has been installed. And there you have it. A safe, durable, efficient underfloor heating system to keep you comfortable and give you pleasure for years to come. Thank you for choosing our underfloor system. For more information, please visit our website.